Hey, and welcome to Live Hive, where you can stay up to date with the latest updates about marketing, sales, and business. The current advertising landscape, along with its opportunities, offers several challenges to advertisers. By having an impactful brand, your company can have a memorable identity that encourages customers to buy from you. Your branding also supports your marketing and advertising efforts, as well as bring pride to your employees. All of these benefits can only come from building an impactful brand. Today, we'll be looking at the steps to create an impactful brand message. We have more interesting content for you, so don't forget to subscribe to LiveHive for more great videos. Just one click on the bell icon and stay with us. Now let's begin with how to create an impactful brand message. Number one, identify your target audience. If your brand can't resonate with your audience, your branding effort won't lead to awareness, trust, and sales. This is where the target audience comes in. You will find that the competitive advantage when building a brand is narrowing your target audience. With a more narrow audience, you can assure that your brand message reaches your audience crystal clear. So the first thing to do is research your target audience, who your brand will interact with. Who does your product serve? Why did you create your business? Who is your ideal customer? It's important to be specific. Find out the detailed behavior, lifestyles, and needs of your customers. What you learn about your target audience will influence your branding decisions later. So make this step a top priority. Number two, establish a mission statement. Every successful brand has a powerful mission to pursue, and so should you. It's what you love to do for others through your product or service. You should ask yourself four questions when defining your brand's mission. Why does your company exist? What problem can you solve? What's different about your product or service? And lastly, why should anyone care? Your mission statement should cover why your organization exists and why people should care about your brand. If you can convey the purpose your business offers, every part of your brand, like your logo, image, tagline, voice, and personality, can reflect your mission to the audience. Number three, outline your brand's values and benefits. There will always be brands with more resources and bigger budgets to dominate the industries, but your product, service, and benefit are yours alone, and they'll be what makes you stand out to gain loyal customers. Creating an impactful brand means you dig deep to find out what you have to offer that no one else can. What you need to do is focus on the values and benefits that make your brand unique. If you know exactly who your target audience is, give them a good reason to choose your brands over others. Take a moment to jot down a list of the factors that set your business apart from competitors. Don't think about product features like appearance, capabilities, and components. Try thinking of how your product or service improves the lives and contributes to people's success. Number four, create a unique brand voice. Your brand's voice depends on your company's audience, mission, and industry. It's the way you communicate with your customers to get a response. What would your brand sound like if it could talk or text? Ultimately, you wanna create a unique brand voice that makes sense and can resonate with your target audience. You will find that the right brand voice gives the best opportunity to connect with customers. Otherwise, they probably won't give your brand a second look. From advertising campaigns, to blog posts, brand story, and social media captions, make sure your tone of voice is consistent across all of your written content. Allow your audience to get acquainted with your brand and learn to recognize your voice. A community of readers, subscribers, and followers will expect a certain brand voice when they consume your content. Number five, build brand visual assets. At this point, you've understood your target audience, your mission statement, values, and unique brand voice that make up your business. If you can confidently say that you've mastered the previously discussed steps, it's time to move on to our next part of branding, visual design. This includes your logo, color palette, fonts, icons, and other visual elements. These will become your identity and the visual recognition of your brand. As you create these elements, build a set of branded guidelines to let your employees know how to use your visual content. This will also ensure that anyone using your brand's visual assets, such as designers and agencies, can do it correctly. Consider hiring a professional when designing your virtual assets. Number six, integrate branding into every aspect. After you finish designing and creating a new brand, it's time to integrate it into every aspect of your business. Pay close attention to ensure it's displayed whenever your business comes into contact with customers. Your brand should be visible in everything your audience can read, see, or hear. From business cards to advertisements, products, and packaging, they all need to have at least your logo. On other digital platforms, make sure your brand has a uniform look. Your branding guidelines will help create consistency in visuals with the usage of colors, logos, fonts, photography, and more. 
And don't forget to use videos. YouTube, Facebook Video, Facebook Live, Instagram Stories, and Snapchat are all platforms that need platform-relevant content that projects your unique brand voice and personality. For those who wanna try podcast audio, use themes and topics that support your brand's message, values, and mission. Number seven, keep a consistent brand image. Unless it's time to change your brand into a more effective one based on measured consumer response, you need to keep a consistent brand image. Once you've used your branding in every piece of content you create, document the brand guidelines and distribute it internally for reference, even outside of the company. You'll need to have a consistent brand for at least a few years. Don't constantly change elements of your brand or the inconsistency will confuse the audience and make long-term brand building harder to achieve. You'll see some big companies change their branding once in a while, but it's often after a long time and they want to adopt a new branding standard while their core missions and values often remain unchanged. These were some steps to create an impactful brand message. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you can join the Live Hive Squad and be part of the channel. Thanks for watching the video.